Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to get on boxing trainer Richard Sawyer. And um, yeah, pleasure getting you on as always, mate. Yep. Yeah. Um, when is it? The 26th of April. <laughs> uh, it was four, we four weeks um, tomorrow. Um, I mean, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, four weeks yesterday. Yes. Up in uh, Liverpool. Yes, Casey's fighting for... Uh, the the vacant Commonwealth Super Flyweight title against Ryan Farag in in it's Liverpool. Be a good fight. The atmosphere is going to be unreal because um, them Liverpool boys always bring a good atmosphere, and we know Casey's lot brings a good atmosphere as well. He brings a big army. Um, it's going to be a good atmosphere. It's going to be a good fight. Ryan Farag brings a good fight as well, and we know Casey. He could, you know he's always in a good game, isn't he? Yeah, I mean. Even though it didn't go his way last time out, um, he still held his own in there. I mean, he got caught early, but got back up and continued the rest of the fight. Yeah, he showed good heart, good fitness, good strength. Um, fly away, it's just not, it wasn't for him. He struggled to do it, it showed. But um, he got through it. If he wasn't fit, if he wasn't strong, it would have been over in the fourth round, fifth round, it all been finished with. But it weren't. He made a good fight of it. He could have good. He gave a good show, and um, he deserves big fees. But we will see how he gets on now at um, Superfly. That's his preferred weight. Mm. Was it before we talk about uh, the upcoming fight? Was it tough to take that defeat? Yeah, it, it's always hard. Uh, boxing's a tough old game, and you know sometimes it can be a tough, tough sport. Even when you win, it can be hard work with bruises and cuts and everything. But losing on top of it, it's, it's hard. It's hard. You know, sometimes you're going to lose. You can't win them all. But when you do lose, you know, it's it's hard. It is tough. It's, it's, it was tough on Casey. It was tough on me. But, it, it, you know, you have to accept the fact that it is boxing. It's a sport. And you do lose sometimes. You've got to um, dust yourself off, get back in the gym and learn from your, your mistakes. And that's what we think we're doing now anyway. So it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, back out already. I mean, some people after defeats, they take a, a bit of a while out, but with Casey and you, uh, just, you know, straight back to it. And you've been quite active recently. Yeah, well, that's what Casey wanted. Um, I'm all right with that. I mean, you know, he's, I know he lost, but he, he wasn't a, a massive loss. He wasn't cut. He wasn't severely bruised. It was, you know, it was his pride that was more on the damage than anything. He's a fighter. That's what he does. Get back out of there. Well, what's the point in having an eight-round of a warm-up fight? He's already warm. Just because he lost doesn't mean, that, you know, like if he can fight for the Commonwealth, well, then let's go for it. You know, it's what it is. I mean, I've always said, look, if you're going to lose, you know, you've got to lose at the highest level, lose, lose to the best. You know, you know, that's what he does. Can't keep going around having his warm-up fights. He's had, he's had enough now. So it's what he wanted to do. So let's go for it. Mm. I mean, back down to super flyweight as you. Um, I mean, back up to super flyweight. Sorry, um, yeah. not down. Um, yeah, of course that's his. I would say his natural. Would you say that's his natural weight because he has been fighting there most of his career at Superfly. That's his preferred weight. Um, he, he's looked strong at that way. He's never done flyweight, never. Not even as an amateur, you know. It's, he, he found it hard. It, it, it's hard work getting to, to super fly, but, that, but he can do it more comfortably. You know, he, he, he can eat more. He can replenish a lot a lot better. Losing those extra four pounds just done him in a little bit. It was, it was too much for him, but super fly is definitely his preferred way. He's... he's He's knocked a few kids out and he's knocked a few fighters out at, at Superfly. So we'll see how he gets on with Ryan Farag. Ryan Farag's tough. He's fit and he's strong and he's 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 experienced as well. Didn't Farag as in he had a draw or a close defeat to Braithwaite, wasn't it? Yeah, was it? A, um, I think he got beat it, and I think Marcel Braithwaite just beat him. I, I had Farag just up by one. I thought he nicked it personally that one. But, it was a close fight. But Ryan Farrakh's always going to be in close fights. He's fit and he's strong. And he'll come to have a go. 
Um, I expected him to get into KC. I expected him to come to come and work him after after the after Casey's loss. I expect anybody to come in and you know look look for that left hook. Yeah. Do you feel like you'll look at that fight? Of course, he got dropped. Do you think like they'll take much from that fight? Like loads from that fight. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, if I was in their corner, you're gonna, you know, it, it, it's just natural. If my fighter is fighting someone who last time got dropped with a left hook, then I'm gonna be looking for that left hook. It's just natural. That's what boxing's all about. But um, we've learned from our mistakes. We've gone back to the drawing board and we've um, we've changed a few things up. And he's happy. This is a good camp. He's a, he's happy at the minute. Casey. he's getting. It's getting there. Yeah, I mean, I saw that he was sparring at Galau Yafai, wasn't he? Yeah, he's, sparred, he's had a few spars with him now. We've been sparring um, Hans Arudin. Um, he, he's from, um, he was on the GB squad. I think he's having his pro debut with Eddie Earn. So he, he's an exceptional, an exceptional fighter. Very, very good. A top, top prospect. No doubt he's going to go on to win world titles himself. Mm. So is camp going all good so far? Good camp, brilliant camp. Like I said, we've put a few things, put a few things right. Haven't done things, done you know, like sorted a few things out from last camp. Haven't done things that we didn't do and done things that we should have done and everything like that. So we've put a few things right. Gone back to the drawing board. Ticks off a load of ticks, and um, he's in a happier place now. He's uh, he's happy. He's good. He's getting fair. He's... <laughs> Hopefully, you can see a difference when he fights Ryan. Yeah, I mean, when we've seen him, I mean, when he's been with you, I think this is what your fifth fight together now. I think it's his fourth. I think it's his. Uh, is it our fourth? No, could you um, add? Um, you add that each has third fight. What's up, bud? You all right? Good. Sorry, it's my daughter. <laughs> it's all right. Um, yeah, so you had that. Yeah, so it's your fifth because you had Ejaz Ben. Yeah. You had that Beling. So, yeah, so we had the, draw, the draw for the British and then the two stoppages and then the IBO world title. Yeah, and then the fifth fight is the Commonwealth. Mm. So we've gone, we've gone straight in. We've gone with, you know, fifth fight and we're on our fifth. I swear this is like his eighth title fight in a row, isn't it? Yeah. I think it is. That's all he wants to be. He just wants to be in big fights. That's all he. That's all he wants. He wants to be a world champion. He wants to be the first British Afghan to be a world champion. That's his goal. He's desperate to get there. He's eager to get there, and I'm sure he he will be there. He's good enough. We just got to get the right weight and get that weight right and get the preparation right in 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 camps. Mm. Do you know what's happening with uh, that British? Because I think Marcel's got it, but. I saw no. ourselves fighting for the super flyweight IBO uh, next week. Yeah, so we've got to see. Um, I think, I think if it wins, it comes vacant. If he loses, I think he still keeps hold of it. So, so I think that's where we're at with it. Oh, so is that why it's just for the Commonwealth at the moment? Yeah, because. Uh, because I, I I think if if he loses the fight, then I think he still holds the British title. But if he wins, then the British title becomes vacant. So if he wins and we've got enough time, then we might be able to fight for that as well. But at the minute, we're fighting for the Commonwealth. Yeah, and what 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 does the the Commonwealth title mean to you, to you guys as a team? And or is uh, it just like another strap along the way? No, 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 no. Every fight means the world. Every strap, every fight, every title fight, any, it means the world. This is what we do. We don't like losing for nothing. For nothing. Um, if he wins the Commonwealth, hopefully he might be able to get another world title shot at the end of the year. But you've got to win to progress anyway. But just the Commonwealth title on its own, it's a massive title. It's a big title. Commonwealth champion, that's brilliant. We were, you know, I want to train Commonwealth's world title. I want to train everything, everyone. Yeah. Um the Commonwealth's a very prestigious belt. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. And it's one step closer to, to that world title fight, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, you win that, and then hopefully you can get another um another shot at it. Mm. So yeah, of course, Farag. Do you, of course, Farag's lost those five times. Do you look at the fighters' defeats and the wins as well? Yeah, look at the defeats. Look at the wins. You know, we study every trainer and fighter. We'll study every fighter that they're fighting as much as they can. You know, I'm sure that's what they're doing with us and that's what we're doing with them. We try and get every bit of info as we can on them. And that's what they're doing with us, isn't they? So it's boxing. It's boxing. It's business. It's what you got to do. You've got to get in there and get it right on the day. Do you feel like uh, the defeat has made Casey stronger as a fighter? Yeah, stronger mentally. Mentally stronger <laughs> as well. Um We've learned. We've both learned out of that. We've learned a lot inside the ring, outside the ring. Um, like I said before, I just, I just hope it shows when Casey fights Ryan. Mm. Does it? Um, of course, we've seen some close uh, decisions in the past when you know when Casey goes to people's backyards, they haven't gone his uh, way. Especially those sagas with Ejaz Ahmed when they're close fights. When uh, personally, you know. Um, do you feel like you've got to sort of take out the judges' hands as it's in uh, Farag's hometown? Um, well, yeah, that's just that's the way things seem to be going. You know, if you go if you go out out of your area into someone else's back garden, then that's that's the kind of talk. It, you know, you got to, got to win big. You know, you go to Liverpool, you got to win big to take it out of there. But um, you know, we was fighting at the All Call for the world title, and uh, he didn't just come out of his back garden. He left his country, come over here, and he boxed well. And you know, so it look it can happen. All all anybody ever asked for is just all the judges and every everyone to be fair. If it's a fair game, fair judge, then you you know there's no complaint. Mm. Um. But yeah, of course, Ryan's a sort of come forward, sort of a, a front foot sort of fighter. Yeah. Um, and Casey, uh, I mean, last last fight, um, uh, Casey sort of went on the front foot as well at times. He. Yeah, he did. Um, we got a few little game plans. We got a few little things that we've ironed out. I don't want to say too much, but um, mm. you'll see. <laughs> and it's on a uh, Box Nation, isn't it? Yeah, it's on Box Nation. So, um, so WBM of WBM shows now will be will all be on Box Nation. So that's good for them. They've done they've done a good job in getting that. Yeah, so they've got a good uh, broadcast partner. Brilliant, brilliant, isn't it? It's good, good it for them. They worked hard for that. Yeah, and, 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 and the shows that they put on are great shows every, every time. Yeah, they're, they're small old shows. There have been some cracking fights. There's been some good fights. You've been to a few of them, haven't you, Sam? There's been, it's been there's a few shows that have been really good atmosphere. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so is, do you feel Casey will bring a few up from uh, East London, like, uh, yeah. to you know, since he's boxed away from from home before, he's bringing a small little army with him. Yeah, because I I went to a I think it was I went to Birmingham. I think he fought Ijaz the second time. Okay. Yeah, I went. Yeah. He bring a through. He, he bring a little army with him. I'm sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, what can we expect? Oh, you said we'll see. That's what we can expect from him. We'll see. We'll see. You'll, yes. You'll soon find out. Um, he lost last time, so you have to make changes. If you don't make any changes, then, you know, how do you expect to move on? So there, there is going to be changes from the last fight, for sure. We've already made changes in the camp from last time. We've put things right already. So, like I said, I'm just hoping that, Everyone can see the differences. Everyone can see the changes, and they they should be seeing a different case of Kadeem. Do you think? Um, um, do you guys feel pressure going into the fight? Yeah, no pressure. 
No pressure. No, well, I say no pressure. No, no more than usual. Anyway, um, the pressure's on winning. We want to win. We always want to win. Everybody wants to win. You know that's where the pressure comes from. But no more than usual. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, can can we talk about Archie as well? Or yeah, we can talk about Archie. Um, uh, there ain't much difference to what we spoke about last time with Archie. Um, he's waiting on a. Uh, He's waiting on, on a certain promoter to come through. But um, you'll hear from him. I'll tell you what, from Archie, you'll hear from him. Within the next week, you'll hear from me and from Archie what he's got lined up. Mm-hmm. Of course. Uh, did you watch, Um, I think it was, oh, I forgot who it was now, Valdez for Liam Wilson. I think it was an eliminator for the WBA or WBO, I forgot. Yeah, Valdez won, didn't he? Yeah, did you watch it? Yeah, we oh, we would love that fight. Archie will take that fight all day long. We will love it. That's what we want. That's what Archie wants. Archie will fight. Archie will beat Val- Valdez. Archie will outbox him. It's too quick for him. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's big fights out there for Archie, as, as we've been saying in our last couple of interviews. To take it. He's been sitting on rank number one for I don't know how long, and he's slipping down there. He won't. He, he he will not say no to any one of them big fighters. Any one of them. Kachi Cordina, of course, they're fighting in May. Sorry. Um, Anton Kakachi v Joe Cordina's in May. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Archie will fight any of them two for their belt. He will. He will fight any one of the big boys. Any one of them. Valdez, Cordina. Any any one of them for the for the for the world title, Archie will fight to any one of them. He won't back down from no one, and he beats them as well. Is he ranked number one, like in WBO, like in uh, line for the belt? A couple of places now. Because I've seen that he was, uh, I sent you something, and he got mandatory for the European. Yeah, well, I see that. Nothing happened with that. I did see that. I spoke to Archie and nothing happened from it. Oh. No, nothing. And he was saying, I think, because I interviewed him when Casey fought uh, that Norman, he was saying that he was targeting the European last year, but and then I don't know what... That's what I'm saying with Archie. We, we've targeted loads of fights. He's been avoided. And all different fights with different fighters. No one seems to want to fight him. So, so so when can we expect him back out? Hopefully in May. Fingers crossed in May. Fingers crossed in May. But like I said, give him a, give us a week, and you you should hear something big from him. Good stuff, mate. And um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh yeah, um, uh, before I let you go, do you wanna? Is there anything else you wanna mention? Yeah. On on um on Casey's fight, I'm training. I'm all, I'm training someone's fight for the um pro debut as well. Abu, his name is Abu Bakr. He's oh, another, what weight's he? He's light heavyweight, super middle. He'll be having his pro debut on the undercard to Casey, so we'll be busy up there. Oh, so so busy night for you lot then. Yeah, busy night. Abu for his pro debut. Who's and he then fighting? He's fight. Um, we don't. I don't. We don't know yet. It'd just be on the journey. We it's his pro debut. Mm. Just getting him ready. Just getting him ready for a four rounder. So, oh, so that so that'll be four rounds, yeah. Yeah, four rounder. So, are you his head coach as well, then? Yeah, I'm his. I'm his head coach. Um, the Warrens manage him. So, so you've got three fighters that you're working with at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, there's a couple that I am working closely with, but I'm not going, not going to say who at the minute. Just going to, uh, I put a couple of announcements out there, maybe next week. Mm-hmm. Um, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, mate, I will. And um, thank you for your time as always, mate. And um, That's good no luck problem. with Casey. And um, I forgot his name now. I don't know why Abu. it's coming up my head. Abu, we call his nickname. We call him Abu. Abu, yes. Good luck with him as well. Thank you very much. It's been a bit. It's always a pleasure talking to you, Sam. Any time, mate. And um, yeah. Good luck with them. Thank you very much. Bye, mate. See you later.